Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna fix a flat. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our soapy water, add some air to the tire, and then we're gonna check, find out where that leak's at. I don't think there's a nail on this one, so it's just a little pinhole leak. Nope. It's a nail right there. Right there. All right. That sucks because there's no head on it. It's a screw too. So I don't think we need air now. I think we're just gonna go ahead and pull this screw out and plug it. The nails are pretty easy to get out, but you're gonna need some small stuff to try to get the screw out. I don't know if you can see this, but the soapy water, there's a big bubble coming out, so that definitely is the spot it's leaking. All right, next thing we're gonna need is our tire repair kit, which is gonna have a plug and some things to ream it and pull the plug through. You could pretty much get this anywhere. Definitely an AutoZone store or Lowe's, probably Home Depot. I think I got this one at Walmart maybe, so pretty much anywhere that you can get general goods. First thing we're gonna take the reamer, which is just a roughed up pin, stick it in the hole. Get one of your plugs. Things are super sticky. This thing is going to be the tool you insert your plug with. It's got a little hole gap in the tip and a hole in the middle. Feed this through. It's not easy. And you probably can hear the leak in the background. So get this through, get it about even like that. This one says to put liquid cement on it or cement glue, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to now shove this in the hole like that. And then we're going to twist and pull. All right, so we got a little bit left out. This one should work. I should just pull really hard and it should just come right out. Bingo. Perfect. Just cut away the edge here. All right, so this is relatively easy to do. We should have a boom or leak. But let me advise you. Let a professional do this if you don't know what you're doing. I don't want to hold any liability on this. I recommend if you do this, do it in an emergency situation. The back of the instructions will tell you to do the same thing. Take it to an auto repair shop or a tire center and get it checked out. So now the next step is we are going to air it up and see if we can get it to hold at whatever the rating is, probably around 30 some PSI. So I'm gonna get the compressor going and we will air this up. All right, what's our rating at? 44 PSI. Now that we're filled up, we're gonna check the 
Make sure there's no leaks here with that pressure. All right, we're good to go. Let's put it back on the tire. Let's put the tire back on the car. All right, that's that. This really isn't supposed to be a how-to. I just want to give you the confidence that if you do have a flat tire with a hole in it, you can fix it yourself. If you enjoyed this video, hit like. If you want to stick around, hit subscribe, and we'll see you next time, hopefully in the lawn here in two months.